Mastodon Social, it's this new federated social network that works uh, alongside the GNU social kind of structure. Um, it started by this guy called uh, Eugen, um, who's put a ton of work into it, and it seems to have sort of grown out a fair bit over the past couple of months. In fact, it seems to have grown pretty exponentially. So I was, I've was i been playing around with it for a few months now, but in my mind, it was going to end up like just about every other um, new social network, and, and that's without any users usually. And, you know, every week I see a new social network pop up only for it to just not get the critical mass required to uh, to sustain itself. But but Mastodon, I feel there is there is something there. There are a lot more people picking up Mastodon. There are a lot of people um, sort of using it and and finding a use for it that you don't tend to get with other social networks. And this is particularly surprising because it is very similar to Twitter. So you would think that uh, it would effectively just be a less good version of Twitter because one of the things with smaller social networks that's a, a big problem is that you just don't get the interesting people on that network a lot of times. A lot of the time, You'll get the you know the people that develop it and the friends of the people that develop it and sort of the communities that that they uh, socialize in. But really, beyond that, uh, most social networks don't get any kind of uh, you know volume traffic. But Mastodon now um, is yeah, it's really becoming popular, and it I believe, if memory serves me correctly, it's up to several hundred thousand users. It's particularly popular in Japan. And because it's a federated social network, uh, it has some interesting dynamics to it. So basically how it works is you can um, join one of the existing instances, um, which is basically a server with the, um, with the software um, deployed on it. And these instances can talk to all other instances and they can host a number of users. So think email crossed with Twitter and you've basically got Mastodon. So you're not um, compelled to act within the terms and conditions of one single company and one single company doesn't get to decide what's allowed and what you can say and, um, and, and all that kind of stuff. Because it's a federated network, you take responsibility for, or if you're the administration of an instance, you take responsibility for the content on your specific instance. So um, it allows greater freedom while at the same time still having that, that sort of structure that you've got a, a solid social network on. And I think that, uh, that, that the federated network uh, and the style of federated network that, that Mastodon is in is possibly one of the better or best ways of, of uh, making sure that you've got a social network that you can take responsibility for while at the same time not uh, risking, you know, sort of personal expression, which is really, really good. And it also seems um, noteworthy that the people on it right about now are actually quite interesting people. A lot of the time you you'll just get people that are banned from other social networks. Uh, but it seems like people are running to Mastodon rather than away from something like Twitter or Facebook or what have you. Although I don't doubt that there is a certain amount of that. Um, I will, of course, put my um, account details down in the description below so you guys can follow me along. Uh, it's pretty great because you can follow people from any other instance. So if you're um, signed up on like mastodon.social, but you'd like to follow someone that is on um, like another instance, like uh, there's one that's based around the House Targaryen from Game of Thrones. I think it's called social.targaryen.com house. Uh, and those two instances can communicate with each other seamlessly. Um, but the people, the admins at uh, Targaryen.house are in charge of all the content on that particular instance, whereas um, Mastodon.social admins are in charge of that, that content, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, think email uh, crossed with Twitter. And it seems like you've got yourself a pretty decent system there as well. I also quite like it because it seems that the uh, feeds from people as well can be followed with an RSS reader. So if I decide that I want to do a like a micro blog, maybe if I'm following like a TV series or something, I want to do a quick review of each episode or character rundowns or whatever, you can actually use the blog for that or the, the social um, media platform for that and then you can have people follow your particular account on like with an RSS reader which is, is really good as well. It also has a really good Twitter app as well called Tusky. There are others being developed but they are currently in development. Tusky uh, seems pretty feature complete right about now uh, and you can use it to log into any of the Mastodon instances and um, do all your statusy update things. So yeah, I've been having a heck of a lot of fun with it. 
and um, and I recommend you guys check it out. Find an instance that looks good to you. Some instances only allow like a certain number of people to sign up so that it stops servers and things from, from getting overloaded, which I think is a really good way because one of the opposite problems you get of of with, with of new social networks is is not that not any you know not enough people sign up to it to make it worthwhile but sometimes too many uh, people sign up to it and it overwhelms all the resources and then you struggle to find you know you struggle to get the funds to uh to 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 get the infrastructure up and running so um and another good thing as well that i uh, i noticed about it is that one of the instances went down because of a ddos attack um, but only, uh, you know, you can really only ever take out one instance with a DDoS attack. Otherwise, you have to multiply your efforts to get multiple instances. So it's a network that can't just be taken down in the same way that certain social networks were taken down. I think it was was last year. I think uh, there are a few. And I know GitHub went down, uh, interestingly enough. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I've got to say on it. But it is certainly something that, um, that I'm going to be watching unfold. Uh, new features seem to be uh, rolled out on an almost daily basis, and um, and it's interesting that the developers themselves are actually talking about development on the on the platform. So it is. It's really interesting. If you want to see a social network grow around its users, uh, because it doesn't have the corporate backing that you, that that the other giants have, because it's basically funded by donations, and because it's federated, so that you don't have too uh, too much of a burden on any one person. It seems seems like there might be some longevity to this platform and even if it isn't it seems to be built in a sustainable way so that well maybe if it only has 300,000 users well that's 300,000 users that that are on a happy you know that are happy on a social network that isn't um operating under the um Oh, under the funding, I guess or, or or direction of of a corporation but rather the uh as as a a collective group of individuals it's you know and and the developers take on uh, lots of suggestions and um and and they're working out great new ways to improve the platform so like i say absolutely looking forward to uh, more and more people joining. It seems to have completely uh, exploded in the number of users lately. Uh, it seems to have taken off in a big way in Japan, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys over on Mastodon, I guess. Uh, that's about it from me today. Um, I'll put various links and stuff to get you guys started down in the description below, of course. And until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.